Hi, it's Jan Hal. Welcome to my channel. For all you dog lovers out there, I have a fun little no-sew project for you. These DIY dress shirt dog collars are the cutest thing ever. They are super simple to make. All you need is a dress shirt, and we'll go over the details about that in just a minute, a measuring tape, and a pair of fabric scissors. The first thing that you'll want to do is measure your dog's neck. You want to make sure that the shirt is going to fit. So this collar right here fits my border collie who has quite a big necks and this was this was a men's extra large shirt. So if you're going to the thrift store or something to buy your shirt, you'll want to make sure that you take a measuring tape just to make sure that you're getting the right size. Now if you have a really small dog, you can go into the boys section and get a boys dress shirt. The shirt needs to have this little strip of fabric right here. A lot of dress shirts will have the collar go straight down to the shoulder fabric and you, you, you'll need to have this little strip because we're going to cut that off and then we won't have to hem it. So this is so simple. We're basically just going to cut the collar off. But where you cut it is important. See how they have this top stitching right here on this collar tab right here? You don't want to cut into that fabric, but you'll cut just below the folded edge of that top stitching on the neck tab here. So don't be afraid and just start cutting right below it, making sure that you're not cutting into the other piece of fabric or it will fray out. And if you do accidentally cut into that collar tab, there's always Fray Check that works really well. You can even launder this with Fray Check on it and it won't fray. So I have an upcycling tip for you. Most of you know that I love to upcycle fabric and to recycle things. This particular shirt, I loved the print. It's still in really good condition. It's a really nice piece of cotton fabric. So I'm glad that I was able to use the collar, but let me show you what I've done with the leftover shirt. I have a tutorial showing you how to store fabrics and how to keep them on these little bolts. I'll put the link in the description below so you can get some ideas about that. But even though this isn't one big piece of fabric, I know that I'm going to be able to use the yardage in this shirt for other really fun projects. I love the blue. I love the the checkered print. And so I've cut off the sleeves, opened them up, and I have separated the front from the back so I have some big pieces without the seam. And I'm just going to fold them up and try to get them in a little strip of fabric so that I can wrap it up on these little cards and have them for other fun projects. I can just see this in so many sewing projects. So if you have a good shirt and the fabric is still in good condition like this orange plaid, I love it and I love orange. Finding a fun piece of orange fabric is really nice to add a pop to a lot of fun projects. So I got a collar out of it and I'm going to go ahead and cut that down and wrap it up on my card to put in my fabric stash. And I'll probably do the same with this shirt. So I hope you enjoyed that if you have a pup or a dog and you probably even can make these for your cats if you wanted to. So go through your closets, find a cute dress shirt that you don't really love anymore or that you're ready to part with. And if you don't have one, there's always the thrift store or consignment shops or something if you find a cute shirt with a cute print. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do that. Click on the bell so you can be notified when I put new videos up. If you have a question or comment, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials and my website, youmakeitsimple.com, for other DIY projects and tutorials. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.